Hey everyone, welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. This workout today, we're gonna do a lower body strength and conditioning. So here's the format. We'll do 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. I'm gonna give you two leg exercises, strength exercises, and then we'll follow that up with a conditioning exercise. We'll repeat that for three rounds and move on to the next circuit. You'll require a variety of dumbbells for the workout. Here are the ones that I have used, but lift within your own abilities. I will also use a bench for a few exercises, but if you don't have one, don't worry. I'll show you modifications. I'm gonna start you with a warm up and we'll end with a cool down. Don't forget, if you're looking for more structure, coaching in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition, along with workout schedules, join our Move Daily membership. You can find the link at the top of the screen or check in the description below. Okay, ready? Let's train those legs and move daily. Put strength on the watch today. Okay, start with a warm up. Hold on to something, a little hinge at the waist. Let's we'll just kick that leg back and we'll warm up the glutes. Five more here. Switch sides and lift. Five more. Good. And into that open door. So I'm just gonna lift the leg up, out to the side and return. Again, hold on to something if you need for balance. Six per leg. There's three. One more here. And switch. Knees up and open. Three more. Very good. Go into a split stance. All right, and if you're tippy on your uh, split stance, lengthen. Just put your legs further apart this way. All right. 10 per leg here. Last one here. And switch. Little pelvic tilts, shoulders back and drop. Just stretching that back hip flexor here a bit, warming up the quads and glutes. Take it wide. Create an open here. All right, let's camp down here. Just right here. Lengthening through those inner thighs. And widen your legs a little bit and just extend on each side here. Nice. Let's go into a squat tiptoe, all the way up to tiptoes there. Just warming up the calves a bit. And let's finish off with a little straight kick, right to the front, alternating. All right, there we go. Take a look at the screen. There's the first circuit. I'm gonna do skipping for my uh, conditioning. You could do high knees. You could do butt kicks, you could modify low impact if you wish. 
I'm gonna start with a very close step up. I'll call halfway on the leg. You can hit a squat with a high knee if you don't have a bench or something to step up on. All right, so I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right off the hop, right to 15s. Again, you probably only get about eight steps per side. So shoulders back, I'll call half. Let's work right here. So close to your bench, focused on quads, straight up and down. Try not to push off. Okay, use that top leg to propel the body upwards. One more here. Switch legs. Setting those down. I'm going into the sumo squat foot sweep. I'll hold a 20. Wide stance. I'll call half and we'll sweep the other direction. Shoulders back, drop it low. So you're here in sweep. Little inner thigh target there. Switch your sweep. Going into your Conditioning, so I'm, I'm skipping, like I said, you could do high knees, all right, whatever you like. Kick that heart rate up, ready, and work. Good. Back to the top. Back to your step ups. I'll stick with 15s. Again, I'll call half. Okay. Stay close. Remember, try not to push off. You are using that top leg to drive your body weight and your dumbbells up. Switch. Into the sumo squat sweep. I'll stick with the 20. Wider stance. I'll call half, and we drop and sweep. That foot is flexed out. It's facing the ceiling, the inner part of my foot there. Switch sweeps.
conditioning. I will be switching the conditioning each time, just FYI, like each circuit. Skipping again for me here, or high knees, or modified. Wow, I kicked it up. Round three. Back to my step ups. We're squat high knee. Here we go. Switch legs. Good. Into the sumo sweep. I'm gonna grab a 25. Wider stance, drop it low. You're here, sweep. My elbows can come down, touch my knees. That may not be the case for you, but go down as low as you can with good form. Switch your sweep. Nice. Woo. All right, final conditioning of this circuit. Pick it up, here we go. Wow, nice, okay, grab some water. There's the next circuit. Take a look, I will go into that split squat, the Bulgarian split squat, 45 seconds per leg. Into your split squat, you could do a static lunge here. All right, if you don't have something to put your back leg on, but 45 aside, I'm holding a 15, slight forward lean, drop it low. Drive, good. The key is to drop that back knee toward the ground. When we're a little bit more upright, it's a little bit more quad dominant. I wanna target glutes so we're leaning forward with a flat back. A little bit more glute dominant here.
See, just now I'm feeling that. Needed the full 45. Switching legs. Sticking with the 15. Gets, it gets the heart rate up, doesn't it? All right, other leg is back. Forward lean here and drop nice and low and lift. Now you could hold that dumbbell on a shoulder. You could hold it in a goblet. You can hold it at your side. Feel what feels best. I mean, you're slightly gonna shift where you hit the, the exercise, but not much, okay? Put your mind in your glute, press up. Box jumps coming up, but you can squat jump or squat pulse if you wish. Okay, so I'm just gonna set these aside. Pulse, if you don't wanna jump, step up, hop down. Okay, any of those works, I'm gonna start with that. Step up and jump down, land light, okay. I'm just starting round one here, but of course you can go right into box jumps if you wish. into my stiff leg, single dumbbell deadlift. I've got a 35. <sighs> Wide stance, hinge at the waist, pause at the bottom. Slow, two, three, and pause, drive. You could hold two dumbbells close together. <sighs> Don't arch at the top, tuck the pelvis. All right, back to your split squat. <sighs> Sticking with the 15 for myself. I'll call half and drop. Remember, static lunge is good too. Other hand is out for balance here. I do have a wall close in case I'm tippy. It's fire on the glute. Switching sides. Good way to get into it is to sit, extend the leg, and then wherever you extend it to, that's your starting position. Forward lean. Squeeze.
Back to the box jumps. I'm gonna alternate now. I'm gonna do a step up, hop off, and a jump. Again, a squat, jumps without the bench, or pulses is good. Goes harder. Dead lift with the dumbbell. Single. Into the waist. Knees are soft. Slow, two, three, and pause. Drive and squeeze. Round three, back to the split squat. I'm sticking with 15 just because the nature of the box jump is fatiguing. Don't let that knee turn in. Yikes, that's adding up, isn't it? You're doing good. Stay with it, let's switch legs. All right, up, back, hinge, and drop. Okay, now I'm gonna do straight jumps and then I'll do a few recovery walk ups just when I need it. Here we go. Land light. Think about landing on eggshells.
That was hardy. Okay, deadlift. Sticking with a 35. Wide stance. Knees are soft. Nice. All right, water time. Pause if you need a longer break. Switching up that conditioning again, take a look at the screen. I'm gonna go into some glute thrusts on my bench, but you can use a floor if you need. Alrighty, right into my glute thrusts. Again, go on your back on the ground if you don't have a bench. All right, up on the pelvis, I've got my 50 pound dumbbell. I'm gonna squeeze at the top. Really squeeze those glutes. Low. One 1,000 drop. Squeeze, squeeze, drop. I'm keeping my chin close to my chest. And I'm not arching my back at the top. I'm just bringing the glutes up and giving them a good squeeze at tabletop. This is a tough one because even this 50 is not bringing me toward failure on any level. Darn. All right, going into your sit squat. If you don't have something to sit on that's stable, go ahead and give me that wide sumo squat. I'm holding 20s up on my shoulders. Wide stance and drive. Straight up here, control the down. Release your body weight at the bottom, but don't plop. Push. So when you're looking down at that shin, it should be perpendicular to the ground. So straight up and down, you're so much in your heels, you might even feel like, whoa, I might tip back. Of course, we don't want you to do that. If it's too easy, bring your feet slightly closer. The depth will be greater. Reach your hips back. That's better for me. Really, Slow on the eccentric phase. Here, slow, slow. Going into the conditioning. Two knees, two frogs. Make sure your dumbbells aren't in the way. Low impact is here. Frog and frog, okay? Ready, kick it up. And one, two, drop low and low. Back to the glute thrust. Mm. Okay. Get into position. Feet about shoulder width apart. And we drop. One 1,000 drop. You can support your head with one hand if you need. Just keep a hand on that dumbbell for safety. Mm -hmm. 
I'll often use my barbell here. I just did not get it set up today. I should have. All right, down. <clears throat> it's heavy still. You gotta be able to navigate in and out. So sometimes you're limited. Into your sit squat. I've got my 20s. Straight up and down. Push. Control. Are you leaning forward? Don't do it. Up. Conditioning. Okay. Two knees, two frogs. Really drive that knee up. Come on. Boom, boom. That's it. I missed it, sorry. All right, round three. to feel that toward the end for sure so that's good I just I need more weight on that guy tall drive control Last here. <laughs> okay, into the conditioning. Two knees, two frogs.
Okay, one more round. The conditioning is gonna be skipping the first round, jumps the second round, and then this, the third round, okay? So take a look at the exercises, grab your weights, join me back. All right, moving into your kickstand deadlift, I'll call halfway, I'll hold 20s. Is that a 20? Feels light. Okay. One toe is in the kickstand, you're hinging at the waist. Here we go, reach your hips back and up. Good. Switch legs, take a step. Set those down. We're gonna go against the wall for our single leg calf raise. Reach your legs out, tap one behind, up to tiptoe, down to the ground. I'll call half. Here we go, up, up, and down. Now if it's too hard, you're gonna walk your foot in a bit. Too easy, you walk your foot out a bit. Woohoo! fire in the hole. <laughs> right? On out. Up, up, and down. Nelly Olson. That is fire. Switch legs, tiptoe, full range. Well, ideally with calves, you'll drop the heel be below that flat. But this is one way to do it. Of course, we could be standing on an elevated surface to get that deeper dip. Last one here. All right, going into skipping to start. You'll do high knees. Modify it if you need. <clears throat> Kick it up, folks. Kick it up. Let's go. And. Love that my shoelace came undone during that. Going into that kickstand deadlift. I'm grabbing 25s. I'll call half. And hinge. Switch sides. Very nice. Let's go into the single leg deadlift. No, single leg calf raise. You knew it. Here we go, tiptoe and drop. Switch feet.
This is good strengthening for the foot too, isn't it? It's hard. Hard times for me. <laughs> mm. Okay. Box jumps, squat jumps, or squat pulses. Remember to land light, like you're landing on eggshells. Good. Round three, back to my 25s for the kickstand. Hinge. Switch legs. <sighs> Whew. All right, calf raise. Heavy for the hands. And raise, tiptoeing down. One more here. Switch legs. Last exercise. <laughs> okay, did you sing that as well? Because you're so happy that it's almost over. Me too. Drop, drop. All right, kick it up for me, will ya? Go, one, two, low and low. Last 15 seconds, I'm gonna be here. I just wanna really burn it out. Come with me if you'd like. Let's do it, 10 seconds. Push, push, let's go. Woo, that's not nothing. In three, two, one and done. Ha, walk it out. You've moved daily in your leg. Strength and conditioning. Nice work, folks. Bring the heart rate down, join me for a stretch. If you can, take it to the ground. If you're against a wall or your bench or a chair, scoot your butt close so you can put a foot there. And then we're gonna put that four stretch for the glute right there. Oh, Nelly, that is tremendous. I'm just gently pressing my knee away to increase that stretch. That feels delightful. De lovely, Delilah. <laughs> How was it for you? I loved it. I thought it was great. I loved the conditioning component. I liked the two in one. 
I loved the box jumps even though I hated them. <laughs> right? I like the skipping too. Although that first round I got a twist tied a few times. I had to get my skipping legs back. Anyway, that was a good workout. Thanks for joining me for that. Let's just lengthen through all these muscles now. Okay, knee is soft. Straight leg with a hamstring stretch here. Can I grab that toe? How are your uh, muscles feeling tight? Do you do any proactive foam rolling, uh, longer stretches in between your work week, like your workout week? I think it's really important as you age to ensure that you maintain mobility and flexibility. And they're different things, right? Mobility often talks about joints and range of motion. Flexibility is talking about the lengthening of that muscle. And so both can be really useful, of course, when it comes to your training. Grab those knees, hug in here, oh yeah. But um, I think it's one of those things that are boring sometimes, so we just neglect to do it and put it by the wayside. Grab your feet together here in that butterfly stretch. You could sit up to do this if you wish. I'm just gonna draw my feet in, knees are out to the side. I want to continue to add these things in though because I, I don't want pain. You know, my friend and I talk about this lots because it, when you work out, you know, if you have anything that's slightly wrong, you'll often compensate, right? And so you'll compensate and sometimes it's in a way that hinders another muscle or joint, right? And then it's like, oh, well, I'm in so much pain. Child's pose, press your chest to the ground here and your head. So it's staying on top of those things I think is really, really important. Um, and I'm trying to do that by regularly incorporating things like mobility sessions. Reach up, elbow here. Remember, we do have that Limber Life program. I wrote something for almost every day in a month that you could work on. So sometimes it's diagonal jump training and balance protocols, shoulder mobility, foam rolling. Like there's, it's all that sort of how to stay limber and mobile as you age. We're gonna to come to standing here, make sure you're not dizzy. Cross the leg over, deep breath in, and hinge at the waist here. Oh, lovely again. I, um, I had a former injury on my one hip. I had the calcified tendinopathy, which when I taught spin classes, I taught so many, and I think I just overdid it, right? Reach other way and hinge. And when I stopped doing that and I started using a standing desk, I alleviated a lot of that pain I found. Well, just recently that injury's decided to say hello again. So <laughs> that was nice of it. Um, so I'm like, okay, we cannot let this get bad. So I'm being really diligent about those mobility exercises, stretching, not overdoing it, making sure I have, you know, everything's warmed up before I, I start training. Those sorts of things I think are helpful. And then if something hurts, you know, don't, don't try to push through the pain. You don't want to exacerbate it further. Train some other muscle groups. And sometimes it's longer. You know, when I had a tennis elbow, I did a lot of legs, cardio, and abs. Because <laughs> I wanted to do something, but I didn't want to make that worse. Last stretch here for those calves. Heel is down, and you're just gonna lean forward here. You can do this on a wall. But yes, mobility, flexibility, stability, all the abilities are the name of the game as we age, I think, anyway. So be sure to work on that for yourself as well. All right, folks. Well, thanks for joining. Go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. And I'll see you all in the next workout.